Hello, I'm Tim Frazier coming to you from the LG Digital Studio at Georgetown University School of Continuing Studies. In focus today, nonprofit disaster relief. I'm joined by Brad Kaiserman, Vice President of Disaster Operations and Logistics at the American Red Cross. Welcome, Brad. Hi, Tim. Good to have you here. Thanks. Yeah. It's great to be here today. So I just have a few things I would like to sort of discuss with you today. And one is we know we live in a world where disasters are constantly occurring. Can you talk a little bit about some of the challenges facing disaster response from the nonprofit perspective? Yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the other professors in the program, Dave Kaufman, and I have a theory we call the AAA theory. It's about the aging, aggressive, and asymmetric. Our risk is aging, our population is aging, our infrastructure is aging. Yeah. With communications and technology the way they are, uh, we live in a much more aggressive society in terms of speed at which communications and things happen. Um, and then there's the notion of asymmetric, and that's um, the public has expectations of first responders, nonprofits, and others in emergency management that may not be in alignment in with, with what they should actually expect. And so those three things are intention, and nonprofits are really having to deal with that, that aging, aggressive, asymmetric present and future that we're going to have to deal with. Uh, that's excellent, uh, excellent response, Brad. I appreciate that. So uh, how have nonprofits had to evolve uh, to better respond to these current challenges? Well, I think there's three main things, at, at least for the American Red Cross and the nonprofits we work with, that have really been critical. So the first one is leveraging technology. And it's not just having new, shiny technology to work with, but it's about sharing information and using that information to help people who are suffering get what they need, when they need, where they need it. If you think about some of the geospatial technologies we're working with, and then being able to maintain a workforce, and in many cases a volunteer workforce, that can leverage that technology, that's a really critical part of some of the things that we've been, been working with. And then last but not least, you know, everything we face for the most part going forward, predictable surprise. Yeah. We know we're gonna have 20% of the population be over 65 in the next 10 to 15 years. So it's really about preparing for the demographic and climate future that we know is in front of us. No, that's great, Brad. It's, it's great that you're taking advantage of some of the technology that's out there to make the impossible tasks that you have a little easier to do. Appreciate that. So what are some of the most pressing needs for nonprofits to be better positioned for a world with more disaster events as a result of climate change, which you just mentioned? So I'd say climate change, climate change, climate change. And, and the key is, while people are beginning to acknowledge climate change, we really need for the whole community to focus on root causes. And that includes things like mitigation, prevention, not building in floodplains, but understanding the root causes of climate change because the more, the longer we delay in responding to that, the more nonprofits are gonna be challenged to provide mass care and a whole array of recovery services in these more frequent, um, greater magnitude, greater scope disasters that we're experiencing. Now again, it seems like an impossible task that you guys are, uh, put forth for you guys to do. Can you talk about how the pro, uh, program like the Emergency Disaster Management Program at Georgetown University can assist nonprofit organizations like Red Cross? Absolutely. If you think about it, nonprofits are fundamentally about often volunteers who are giving of their time and their dollars to help bring, ha help bring resources to people who are suffering to alleviate that suffering. Having a program like the, the one here at Georgetown in emergency management does a couple things. One, it builds intellectual competency in the community so that we have emergency managers and crisis leaders who understand what nonprofits bring to the table, how they operate, and may themselves want to be part of nonprofit operations. The other thing is the intellectual capital that an organization like Georgetown brings, both to current operations and looking at the really complex problems of the future, and then being able to work with nonprofits to help solve those problems. I think this is an amazing program. I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you, Brad. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's good to talk to you today. You too, Tim. Thank you for joining us, uh, and thank you, Brad, again, for coming and say, sitting with us. Stay tuned for more from the LG Digital Studio at Georgetown University.